Hey everybody, Chris Campbell with the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation. We're going to take you behind the scenes at what's going on with this big locomotive behind me and the firebox. So the process of building up the muttering, the muttering kind of rounded over from corrosion because the outer wrapper side sheet was not a tight fit when the locomotive was built originally. So the first step is to grind down the corrosion until it's clean metal and then to go in and heat it up to about 200 degrees before you start welding on it and then lay an adequate amount of weld down that will allow you to then go in and grind it flat and smooth, restoring that edge. Normally, you would not be able to see in here. This is a very rare opportunity to see from the outside into the firebox. Normally here and a little bit below would be the grates is where the coal would be burned. Those have all been removed. All the apparatus in there has been taken out. And basically we're working with a brand new empty space. inside this stuff you never get to see that this is a flexible stay bolt i'll be showing you a little bit about the work going on with these flexible stay bolts each one of these things hundreds of them have these caps on them we're having to remove all these caps it's been dozens of years since these have been removed we have to remove all these all these have to be heated up with the torch they have to be wrangled out of there sometimes with a lot of force we get them out but they have to be taken out by hand we can't use pneumatic tools for that because that may damage the things that we're taking them out of and then inside you have a flexible stay bolt that actually is able to be flexed around and now that we don't have it attached to anything we can bring it out and have a clean slate to work with so a lot of work's going on on these caps and sleeves So all this intricate work has to be done on the firebox before we can put the side sheets back in, which we have in the shop. The, the new material is ready to go. It's just a matter of making sure that everything is prepped and in good shape for these uh, new pieces of metal to be put in. Another exciting development is the uh, progress in our machine shop, and this will be a small machine shop. We'll have drill presses and milling machines and things of that nature in this room, and uh, we're really excited. To, we've actually had our first piece of equipment delivered here, so very soon this will be an operating machine shop, and it will really benefit us here with the Kentucky Steam with the restoration of 2716 and other pieces of equipment.